So, try again. No? No? All right then. Today, we're reviewing 1897. Or shall we say, the Clon Cronenberg clone. Or rip off, whatever. At Audi, 5%. 5% is the same as Cronenberg, if memory serves me right. So yeah, it's been a while since I've been a live review. No one's, no one's noticed, so i just crack on and uh, drink away. Oh, nice hoppy aroma to it. Just, it's got a very Cronenberg-esque uh, aroma to it, to be fair. Get a pour. So I've had issues with my phone, so I've actually brought the bloody charger to the shed, so it doesn't keep dying on me. And uh, I've got a new phone, but um, I need to get everything over to the new phone. You know how it is when you've got phones, you don't want to, you need to transfer sh uh, stuff over, contact details more than anything. Got a minute 22, and I've had no one on there. Bloody hell, doing well. Uh, did I press it on the listed? I might have done. Probably did. So, Golden Paw Whitehead. Can't see now if I have or not. I presume by now somebody would have clicked on. So it must be unlisted. Oh well. So, yeah. Like lager malt aroma, it does smell very Cronenberg esque. I mean, if that's not a Cronenberg ripoff. I mean, how did cheeky, really? Are you surprised Cronenberg hadn't, hadn't had something to say about it? Because it looks like Cronenberg. It's got the same, you know, look of Cronenberg. It even smells like it. Down on the taste. Oh. And it even tastes like Cronenberg. I mean, that is... What a clone, eh? You can't fold them, can you? If you're going to rip something off, you might as well go and do it properly. I mean, they've done it with Bira Moretti, they've done it with Peroni, they've done it with Stella, if I remember rightly. So, um, yeah, good old that would be. Hey, let's not give a monkey, let's just clone everything. But then again, if it tastes the same, then does it really matter if you are cloning it? No, not really. What I can say is it is nice and it is crisp, refreshing. It's nice and chilled in the beer room. Um, I've got to say it's going down a tree. Thankfully, my battery's not going to run out because my phone's actually on charge while I'm doing the beer review. So, I think everyone's got used to now the fact that I don't, I ain't, I've not been doing live reviews. So, uh, I've caught people on the arc. Oh, I'm too early. There you go. So, quick beer review before I go in the house and uh, cook dinner for the fourth night on the boat. Or was it the fifth? That is so very similar to Cronenberg. It's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, dear. Was it imitation the sincerest form of flattery? Yes, I think so as well. So yeah, golden pour, good white head on it. Although I've got a bit of an headache drinking this already. So two beer rolls today. One surprise beer roll, but uh, I don't mind surprises. All good, all good in this day and age. And uh, yeah. Hello. I did a sneaky uh, live review, thinking that no one would see it. Although I've got my phone plugged in now, so it don't run out of charge. It's been running out of charge, bloody idiot phone. Yeah, thank God they got the call late on the other night. Jesus. Um, I think Chris Hooten would be good for Forrest. I really do. I think he'll be. Uh, I think he'll be the sort of manager we need. Because Brighton, let's be fair. I'm not so not I'm not sure about Newcastle, but Brighton played decent football, um, and uh, so if he can bring that here and sort the team out, I mean, with all the players we've got, we should be near the top. Uh, God knows what happened to Lamucci because he was doing well, and then the Stoke game happened, and since then, downhill like you know faster than 
I mean, I don't think he won a game after the Stoke game, if I remember rightly. And uh, sometimes you wonder, you know, if there's something... We've got the sheep on Friday night. And Rooney's not there. Rooney's got corona. Or suspected corona. So, yeah, he's not there. He's got isolated for 10 days, apparently. I, I heard it on the news um, earlier. But, oh, it's a shame, isn't it? Then again, he didn't get him uh, promoted last year, did he? With all the money they're spending on him. So, um, I didn't even get him in the playoffs. So, can he be that good? I doubt it. He's obviously still a good player. But uh, he's not the player he once was years ago, you know. Then I was never impressed with him when he, when he, when he bobbed it for England, you know. Although he is, the, he is England's biggest scorer, isn't he? God knows why. He must play some shite teams. <laughs> Oh, so Cronenberg. Oh no, it's not Cronenberg. It's Brasserie, eighteen ninety-seven. Oh, Cronenberg. It looks like it, and tastes like it, smells like it, but it's not as expensive. Oh. It is a good lockdown setup, isn't it? You know, uh, hello. Yeah, that was funny. That was. I was on that bed, and then I heard you. I heard. I heard. I heard you goodbye in the court van. I heard. I, all I got was something about YouTube. I didn't catch the rest. And uh, yeah, it was funny. That was. Yeah, I'm actually at Link. Uh, sorry, I'm at Newark again tomorrow, uh, and Wednesday. I'm only going Wednesday this week because uh, the chef's in Wednesday. So in that in the job I'm in, whenever the chef's on site, you get a free meal. And I'm, a, I'm all for a free meal, I am. Pity don't do free wine and beer with it, but uh, I'll settle for the free meal. So I, I've, I've, I've changed it this week. I'm going to go Tuesday or Wednesday. The boss don't know yet, but I don't think he's bothered anyway. As long as, I, as long as I do two days at one, three days at the other, and then vice versa, he's not bothered. Oh, right. <laughs> And yeah, as for as as for uh, setups, I got some pallets. Do I like any of the Lincoln Green Brewery? I like a lot of them. There's a, I've reviewed a lot of them on the channel, and they're coming out. I don't know what it is at the moment, but they're on a. Um, I went to the the Robin Hood and Little John in Arnold, and got five of their four four of their beers on draft and one from Downtown Brewery, and that was only two three weeks ago. Already, there's another five different beers on draft. I wish they'd get it into bottles. Um, they've got an ex espresso stout. You know, if I'm in charge of a business, yeah, the Brewdog Audi, but it's no bad. It's okay. It's just no special. You know, it's it's a session beer. That's all it is. As regards to Lincoln Green, though, um, yeah, I wish they'd. It's no, it's not that good. Why is my fucking phone going off charge? Stupid bloody charger. There we go, it's charging again there. Fuck's sake. Um, the Audi one. The Brewdog one. No. You know what Brewdog are like? They're very clever in the way they uh, do things. They, they, it's like they're equity, equity for punks. Oh, right. I don't know about notifications. I don't get notifications when people comment. It's only now and again when I look and think, oh, there's only about 10 comments on here. And then I start looking at the comments. But yeah, Brewdog, um, yeah, they're very crafty, aren't they? You know, Punk IPA is all right, but, you know, some of their beers aren't that great. And uh, But they're good at the marketing. You can't fault them for that. Chantry Ales? No, I've not heard of them. I'd love to go around the country. Can you imagine going around the country trying beers from every brewery in the country? You'd never be sober. And you'd need a lot of bloody money and all. Oh, it would be amazing. If I won the lottery, fucking hell, that's what I'd be doing. Once coronavirus does one, and uh, we're back to uh, just doing things normal, 
and uh, I'm hoping that doing beer reviews and that positive beer reviews that you know you get invited to breweries get some free beer yeah at the moment I've had a um, few call top bro no never heard of them you know these breweries in Nottingham that uh, we had Robin Hood Beer Festival so like here's Robin Hood Beer Festival and uh, this yeah last year isn't it yeah 2019 and I went through the beers on there, and there's breweries on there that I've never even heard of. And, and I live, you know, around the corner from one. There's a cider company that's around the corner from me, about 100 yards on the next street. That's their base. They're not actually base. That's their own, but, the, but that's what they put on the bottle. So it's about 100 yards from me. And it's amazing how many's on your doorstep. Absolutely ridiculous. You know. Castle Rock, yeah, I do like Castle Rock. Best in Knots, I'm not sure. Um, Screech Owl's good. Uh, obviously, Harvest Pale's amazing, but not in the bottle. Don't get the bloody bottle that's on in the supermarkets because it's 4.3%. Marston's make it. Marston's don't do as good a job of making it as Castle Rock. The, the bottles you get in Nottingham from Castle Rock are made by Castle Rock. The bottles you get in supermarkets... And mass produced for Castle Rock by Marston's, and either it's the water or there's something different, but the taste is not as good as the stuff that's on draft or from Nottingham itself. We must just have, we must just have better water in Nottingham, but I would say that one time from Nottingham, so you would say that, yeah. <laughs> just taking the mick out of everybody else. Oh, fucking hell, you wouldn't want to drink out of the Trent. Jesus Christ, I've seen what goes in the Trent. Dead bodies, all sorts. <laughs> Cars. Um, so, yeah, you know, this Cronenberg, I mean, not Cronenberg, it's Brasserie. I'm brewing the American Oak one. I, I brewed it, started brewing it last night. American Oak Rum, Oak Rum Ale, or whatever it's called. Uh, Young's do it. And, uh, yeah, I haven't brewed that one. But uh, I want to get a Christmas, some Christmas beers. It looks like Love Brewing are the only place to get the Christmas beer kits. Or eBay. The only problem with eBay is you pay over the top. At least with Love Brewing, once you pass that £60 threshold, you're getting it free delivery. So it's worth getting 60 quid's worth, if you can afford it. Because, obviously, we're not all flush with money. Um, I'm lucky at the moment, because I'm doing my gardens at the weekend, so I get a bit of spare cash. But uh, if it was just my normal money I get for work, I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able to buy spare kits. So, and I won't be able to have all these beers behind me. It's only because I've done I've done gardens at the weekend that I've got all these beers, and uh, oh, jolly good it is too. I've only had two new beer halls today, so I'm well happy. And Lidl's Beer Festival Friday, oh, there's at least ten new beers there for me. I've worked it out, so it's going to cost me about twenty quid. So not bad for 10. And so some nice beers there as well. I just need to calm it down though after that. But oh, how are you going to surprise us with a beer festival? Morrison's. Sainsbury's is no chance. Ow, Asda. Asda. Fucking hell. Their range has gone crap. Uh, they need to update their range. Tesco's, to be fair, Tesco's are, are updating their range quite quickly. Morrison's by far the kings of... Um, of uh, beers at the moment, by far. Their range is superlative. The bottled beers and the craft. Retros and Ocado. Yeah, Asta. You know, on stage, you go to the big Asta stores. Um, it depends where you go in the country as well. Wherever you live in the country, you get different bloody beers. So if you're lucky enough to be in a job where you're travelling a lot, and you've got some spare cash when you're travelling, it's all about spare cash. Going round the country and visiting different supermarkets is a great way of picking beers up. For me, co our local co-op, um, they do Nottingham beers. So it's a great way for me to get some Nottingham beers without having to order them. And the slightly cheaper than that, I can get them from Adventure Beer, which is, only, you know, uh, he's Nottingham based as well. So he's actually Shearwood based. He's only he's about a mile away. Uh, the bloke who runs it, and he's really nice as well, decent bloke. So, 
for a lager, for a Cronenberg clone, it's pretty damn close to Cronenberg. Did Cronenberg make it? It bloody makes you wonder, doesn't it? Yes, Thursday. 22nd Thursday, there are, oh, at least 15 beers. If I get me other phone working, I might do a little video and show you the beers using one phone. I got a bollocking off the wife the other night. I got pissed up the other night. I fell asleep early. So I've had to fucking stop doing the live reviews because I got a bollock. I got a bit of an arsehole in. Yeah, she was pissed off me. And I kept falling asleep early at night. You know, you know, I can't get out of the habit of having a late drink uh, just to help me sleep. And uh, I think it's all because of the anxiety, the bad anxiety I suffered in, in the spring and summer. And uh, I'm I'm trying to wean myself off it. I'm not fucking, it's not fucking working, but I'm getting better. And so I've been falling asleep early this week and I got a right rollicking the other day. And uh, it's like I come home, I've been in the garden, I've not seen her. Then I fucking been doing reviews, go in the arse. So she's seen me for about an hour. And uh, so hence I got the, uh, not a red card, but certainly close to a red card. So I've been good. But I will start doing more live reviews. What I intend to do, is go and get some of the best ales that we do in, you know, from supermarkets. Some of the cheap stuff, the four for six quid stuff. Get a load of them and uh, maybe put it on the channel beforehand so we can set it up so we can all drink. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm going to do a live prune juice review, but obviously you can't drink that. I've got the bottles down here. You can have the fucker if you want. <coughs> Pardon my French. But, uh, yeah, get a load of uh, supermarket beers and then do one about seven or eight o'clock at night, probably eight o'clock at night, you know, and do them a couple of times a week. You don't want too many live reviews. Plus, I'd still get, I'd get another arse on if I did. Something like a Wednesday and, a, and like a Saturday, you know, Friday night we have a Chinese, so ain't no way I'm getting a live review on a, on a Saturday, on a Friday, but a Saturday, yeah, Saturday's good. Saturday about eight o'clock. I will do it, I will set it up and I will stick to it. Once I've set it up and stick to it, I will do it. Because don't, don't go out at the weekends, well you can't anyway, can you? You can't go to the fucking pubs. You can't go to the cinema, there's no films. Go to the pubs, you can't go with mates. So, it's not worth going. And plus, to be honest, by the time I pay four or five pounds for a pint, I'd rather drink one of these, you know, on the back wall. I'm well, well disappointed with Aldi. I mean, I'm drinking an Aldi beer, and it's not bad, actually. You know, it's decent, but... Um, no Dunkle Festa. And at the moment, nothing about Halloween. You've got all the Halloween decorations, but no bloody Halloween beers. And I know coronavirus has happened. Which, which Plum Porter? The, the um, St. Peter's one. There's a pamphlet that's free. St. Peter's do a Plum Porter. Tit um, obviously, uh, Titanic do the Plum Porter. And the Plum Porter Grand Reserve. The Grand Reserve is pricey. It's nice. Good strength. Slightly better. But. Oh, fuck watching football at the cinema. I stress watching Forest play. You know, you don't want to, <laughs> I'm not paying to go to the cinema to get stressed. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even turn the match on at the moment. I'm like, oh, fuck's sakes. And when, when they weren't winning the other day, I thought, oh, here we go. I thought, I thought they might do something on the Hooton. So I turned it off. And then later on, I seen one of my mates comment that uh, we won 1-0. I thought, yay. Yeah. Both Peters and Titanic are, are both great in very different ways. Irish War Keen didn't stop the Forest. Because if, if they'd have all stopped... So obviously, when Cluffy left, when Cluffy, obviously Cluffy was pissed up, you know, a bit like me. But um, he was pissed up all the time. And uh, he obviously, he should have bought Collymore. If he'd have bought Collymore, Forrest would have never gone down. Then he bought Collymore, we went back up. And then the next season, third in the third in the Premiership. And if we hadn't have sold the players, we'd have stayed, you know, in the top. But, you know, I suppose money and players, players like doing the thing that, oh, fuck it, I'll go somewhere else. You know, and then they do crap. You know, if I was getting paid X amount of money per week play, playing for my favourite team, I won't go to another club. Uh, it does yet, doesn't it? Yes, Forrest did. Uh, back in the day, I used to go down to the city ground as a 
an eight-year-old going to watch the Forest matches at the back of the trend end, sat in the back. It's fucking freezing as well. But yeah, we won the champ. What was the Champions League? And in them days, it was a knockout competition. Not like the Champions League now, where you can lose games and still get through. It was all, you know, you could lose a couple of games and get through. But we won it, yeah, back to back. In fact, in fact there was a stage where English teams, I think we won five years on the row, the European Cup, yeah. Yeah, those were the days. We had some team. And uh, I watched the show on, on TV about it. Because obviously, years ago now, you forget. And uh, we beat Barcelona, and Real Madrid, and all, all them other teams. And uh, our football was amazing. You know, proper full ball on the grass football. Not only hoof it over the top football. But obviously, in different games, hoofing it over the top sometimes is the way to win. No, the Super Cup was, wasn't called the Cup Winners' Cup. The Super Cup was between the winners of the... In, in, back in the day, it was the winners, I think it was... You had three competitions. You had the European... Fucking hell, I'm showing my age now. 49, only 49. We had the European Cup, you had the Cup Winners' Cup, and that the Cup Winners was like the, the winners of the FA Cup, and that went into it. And then there was like the UEFA... There was the UEFA Cup. And then they'd done, done away with the Cup Winners' Cup. The Super Cup was the winners of the... I think it was the winners of the Cup Winners' Cup or the UEFA Cup versus the European Cup Winners'. But YouTube will tell you, uh, Wikipedia will tell you better than me. But uh, yeah, and then if you won that, the Intercity Fairs Cup, that was the other type of European thing as well. There's some strange European things over the years. Back to the Plum Porters though. L Goods, L Goods, I think, make a Plum Porter as well. Um, Blue Monkey make a plum stout, but it was shit. It, it wasn't nice. Not enough plum. Couldn't fucking taste it. And I like Blue Monkey very, very. I love the brewery, but the, yeah, their plum stout was, wasn't that nice. Yeah, I reviewed it and I wasn't. I wasn't happy about reviewing it, but I was expecting it to be better. Yeah, there's been some over the years, hasn't it? Into Toto, Titanic, yeah. The Grand Reserve is probably the best of all the plum porters, but it's bloody expensive. 750 mil bottle, something like 895 now. And uh, I love Titanic Brewery, but it's pricey. I mean, for a for a 6.5%, seven quid, or no, sorry, nine quid for a bottle, it is a bit pricey. You know, you're taking the piss a bit on prices. And like for a two litre bottle, it's like 26 quid or something daft like that. Is it on Amazon? How much is it on Amazon? I did in the in the in the old days of the channel. I did do. Um, oh Jesus Christ! What did I do? I did a Titanic versus St Peter's. Um, I reviewed both of them both of them separately, and then at the same time. And but it was it was a stalemate. They were both good in separate ways. And, uh, you know, both very good beers. Yeah, I will try. I mean, this, I think this Saturday, I haven't got beer, beer 52. I find a lot of these companies, you know, these mixed beer companies, they put two of each in, and I don't want to be buying two of each. You know, for, obviously, from a cost perspective and a review perspective. I mean, it's nice if you get, Eight beers that you really like and you want to drink them again. But even if you get six in the shite, then you don't want to drink them again. And you just sit there to, you know, to die away, don't they? So I try not to go to them. But I want to be drinking Halloween beers and themed beers. And I've not seen nothing yet. Pisses me off. Eight different beers. Good evening. That is good. Eight by ninety five. You can't fault that, can you? Oh, for the, um, for the Grand Reserve. Ooh. Might have to tell the wife. She can buy me that for Christmas. Plus delivery. Yeah, because... Yeah, the, I'm so... De Morrison's were great at one stage for all the themed beers. And they fucked up over the last year or two. And uh, I don't understand why they did. Because they had... They was like the kings. I mean, they are the kings of the beers anyway. Let's not forget. 
But they were the kings of the fiend stuff as well. Used to go in here like, oh, six new beers, jobs are good. And it's really check out. And that's before I did reviews. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a shame. And you get to the stage where you think, shall I, buy, shall I go on one of these expensive beer places and get 12 beers? And you think, no, because a lot of the time people can't afford to buy them beers anyway. Which is why a lot of the time I tend to do supermarket beers only. Because obviously, you know, we're all on a budget. None of us are rich, otherwise we'd be sat abroad and, uh, you know, loving it up. Oh. Oh. My mate's haven't told me. Jesus Christ, I've got a bloke, I've got a mate who puts the beers out. He does all the range reviews at Sainsbury's. In fact, two mates do range reviews. Range reviews is where they change, you know, take old lines off, put new lines on. And then they change what it looks like on the shelves. And uh, neither of them have got in touch with me about that. Not if that works. Then again, they haven't got in touch with me about uh, any tat either. Because I want, like, Carlsberg Special Brew and stuff like that. Salt brewing. Ooh. Might have to go to Sainsbury's on Saturday then. Yes. So, little on Thursday. Sainsbury's on Saturday. Because little, there's at least ten new beers at little for me. At least. And uh, I went yesterday to little and there was nothing in little yesterday. Would you believe the fucking gas people are at at whatever time it is now. Nearly six, half six, whatever time it is. Can't tell. And uh, they're digging up the fucking roads at half six at night. Noisy bastards. They must be on some good money. Surprised they can see what they're doing. Yeah, Thursday, 22nd. And I'm looking forward to that as well. Some nice beers. They do tend to have some of the same ones, though. So the Williams Brothers, the Chocomocker Blocker Stout, whatever it's called, that's out again. Uh, Shepherd Neem's Double Stout is out again. And uh, there's some good stuff there. I've, had, I've, I've picked up the... Um, the you know the catalogue just to see what was out but if you go on the um yeah i know and i'm definitely getting the barney's marshmallow again that was nice that was that was a, that was a nice i think it they class it as an imperial uh i always thought imperials were slightly more stronger little are pretty good actually and, and to be honest audi i went into audi yesterday wasn't expecting as many beers, and I picked up like eight new beers. Cost me a tenner, just over a ten quid. And I got the obviously got the brew dog one. So, fucking every time I go to a shop these days, I'm getting a beer haul, and it's like Jesus Christ. I mean, I went into um, Own Bargains, nothing. B and M, nothing. Um, but I'm looking forward to Sadler's Peaky Blinder, obviously, because uh, they're Christmas pudding stout, sorry. And uh, looking forward to that, and I will get more than just a couple this year. Oh, the St. Pierre. Yes. I picked this one up tonight and I thought, well, I'll go live. I've got the phone plugged into the charger so it don't die on me. Yes, I'll have to, I'll have to do that. Because obviously it's in shops now and I presume it's only going to be up till Christmas. Uh, some of these beers only come in like this one. This probably, this will probably last. Um, this will probably be a permanent feature. But um, the Cronenberg ripoff at Clem. Oh, I'll have to try it. Might do another live review tomorrow or something. See if I, if I get away with this one tonight, I might do another live review tomorrow just to see. Yeah. Don't want to wind the wife up too much, then. You know how it is. I try and be on good terms. Although I am making dinner tonight, so as long as I don't go up the ass pistol, she'll be all right with me. No, no red cards. Fucking hell. That's what I get for drinking wine last week. So I'd come down the shed and it'd be about half eight. And uh, I think, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll have a, I'll have, I'll have a couple of uh, wines. Another, Tesco, another range change. Jesus. Do you have you with the wife? No, she wouldn't do it. She wouldn't talk in front of her camera. And yet, you know, she makes cakes. That's, she does, she's got a Facebook page called Cakes by Tracy. And, uh, I think there's a oh a Beauty and the Beast themed the little cup will be fucking I can't chip that's it and she's got that on the page because quite a few cakes by Tracy but 
okay it's amazing and i said to her you need to go on youtube and start showing people how you do cakes but she can't talk to a camera and i'm gutted i've got mates in supermarkets and i'm not getting the info shocking i've got mates that work at both audi sainsbury's asda and no one's um well asda's crap anyway but yeah, no one's told me about no range of views. My daughter used to work at Tesco's, but uh, she left there. She works for the Ministry of Justice, um, catching up on people who are trying to rip off the government. Ooh. Cost you a fortune, doesn't it? Domo beers on Instagram. I have to keep an eye on that. If I remember. I've got such a shit memory. But... Uh, you know, if, you, if you've got every single new beer that come out, you, I mean, I got 50 quid last Friday and uh, it's cost me 20 quid at one shop, 10 quid at Aldi's. I've saved 20 quid for a little this weekend. And then obviously if Sainsbury's have got another one, fucking hell, it costs you a fortune in new beers. Mozza beers, that's, I've, I've seen his tag because I've, I've, Tagged in Morrison's before. Because obviously, as I do reviews, I tag people in. On the hope that one day they send me a free beer. But uh, it don't happen, so. But, uh, you know, you tag them in anyway. You know, it shares the love, doesn't it? And I've seen him, him come up on my tags, you know. Yeah, I see lots of things come up on tags. You know that world's strongest beer? That, um, I felt shit for days after that. Um, I'm sure that my liver was not in a good place. I, every time I drank one beer, I was pissed out of my head. And, uh, yeah, whew, I would never do one of them again. Fuck that. Um, yeah, it was about a week later, and I stopped getting drunk on one beer. Like, you, you'd have one. I mean, one beer never gets me drunk. Whether it's a new beer, you feel it sometimes. But I was drinking, and I'm like, that, and I'm like Jesus pissed up on one and I reckon it was still in my system for a good week and uh, I forgot what she said wait till it comes up again it'll come up again in a minute does it come up here press this little thing here hey. oh. I reckon prune juice review we review this Saturday night I do what's this thing here uh, oh, we, oh fuck off then that's it yeah Saturday night, prune juice we review. Saturday night, eight o'clock, I reckon. Eight o'clock's a good time because everyone's, everyone's up. As for the orange juice, um, yeah, I, I, it's in a barrel now. And I, I drank it the other night. God, it was strong. I used seven cartons of orange juice. I think it was about seven. And uh, I used five kilos of sugar. So hell of a lot of sugar in there. Put the odiodrometer in. I ain't got a clue what strength is. I can't be done with the math. I, I'm good at maths, but I, I couldn't be fucking arsed with the mathematics. Put it in and it says it's ready. The orange juice wine. It's got to be at least 15%. Got to be. Because I've drank it. And I'm like, whoa. And you knew. You knew. Whoa. It was strong shit. And what I ended up doing, because the pear juice wine had done fuck all. I end up si um, siphoning it out, and with the pear juice wine, I've ended up um, using the sediment at the bottle with the yeast in, and pouring the pear juice into that, and now it's bubbling away like a twat. So it just goes to show you, sometimes you may need to add new yeast, because uh, I may have killed the yeast, or done some of it, I don't know. But the, the, the yeast in the orange juice wine was good yeast. And now, it, I tell you what, you go in my uh, dining room and uh, I've, got the orange, I've got the pear juice wine in there bubbling away. I've got the American oak aged rum ale bubbling away. Oh, fucking hell. Grape juice wine. I'll do a grape juice wine live review one day and you'll see how bad it is. And, uh, yeah, and I've also got um, the Barola kit bubbling away. So you walk into my dining room, it smells like a brewery. Wife's well pleased, because that's her cake room. She does all the cakes. She's walking, it stings. 
And then we've got the clothes on the air. I see there's a right smell in the room. It's, um, it's not a good smell. So I've got to say, Audi, you are really buggers for cloning stuff. And to be fair, it's a pretty decent clone of Cronenberg. Um, um, I don't know, that, you know, it's obviously a little bit cheaper than Cronenberg, but they're still making a profit of it. Do Cronenberg, do Cronenberg make it? It does make you wonder, doesn't it? Because surely, if Cronenberg aren't making this, then how are they getting away with the blatant fucking cloning? I mean, it's as, it's as blatant as you can get. <laughs> yeah, wait till I've had a drink. Fucking hell. And I'm pissed. I really do tell it like it is. Which I try not to do too often because, uh, you know, it's naughty. Um, out of five, then. For this, it's actually not bad. You know, it's new in Audi. I, I've only just seen it. It may have been in a month or so, but I haven't been to Audi for uh, a few weeks with this corona stuff going off. Um, out of five for me. About 4.2. I think it's just as good as Cronenberg, to be honest. Yeah, not bad at all. And, uh, yeah, I better back up the ass. 37 minutes nearly. Whoa, that's a long review. Better not last too long. Well, I forget me bollocking. But thank you for uh, for the for notification about Sainsbury's. I shall be popping up to Sainsbury's on Saturday. How much a bottle? Do you know? Can't remember. It's either 150 or, yes, same strength as Cronenberg. Um, five percent. Yeah, I I personally think that a lot of these beers are made by the same people. They're never going to admit it, but I reckon they are. Saint is it Saint Etienne? Uh, is also this? They, they say that's the same as Stella. Um, and uh, it does make you wonder, you know. Because, you know, if not, these companies will be, um, these companies will be suing the arse off them. Yeah, I mean, if you've got friends around and you, you know, and you've got this, and you think, oh, I'll pour the cunt a glass of current, I'll pour this. Yeah, Cronenberg, mate. Yeah, cheaper. Yeah. Not that you're going to have friends around at the moment, obviously, because of coronavirus, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it's all good fun, isn't it? I've got another beer hole to put on in a minute because I did two beer holes when I got home. Now I can't do any more reviews. I'll get an arsehole in. I really will. And uh, I'll have another drink later, mind you. Might have to come down and have a, have a pint of orange juice wine. But uh, you never know. And uh, Although maybe later on before, when the wife falls asleep. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheers. And thanks for all the comments. Lovely. Cheers. Text me 10 minutes to turn this fucking screen off. Pardon my French. Didn't know I could speak French, did you? Pardon you, Francais.